Shock for employees of a Southwest Omaha company, a bank took over and shut down operations. Workers tell Mike McKnight they're worried they won't get paid what's owed them. It's a fact finder's investigation. They can get big engines running, but these technicians feel powerless since diesel power and equipment shut down unexpectedly last week. 15 minutes before we were told to go home, they, they closed the doors and the bank came in 30 minutes later and changed the locks. So. 30 or so employees out of work at the Omaha location, with more affected at shops in other states. These workers wonder if they'll get paid for three or four days still owed. So I'd like to get the four days of pay that's owed to me so I could, you know, so I can continue on and, and put food on the table and a roof over my kid's head. A notice handed to technicians by a bank employee says diesel power and equipment defaulted on loans. So First National Omaha took control of nearly all the company's assets. Fact finders talked to another employee who worked here for 36 years. Now, out of a job, he's concerned not only about back wages, but also other benefits. Reimbursed for the things that were, I feel, earned, you know, vacation time. The bank tells employees to ask the company owner, Dan Wells, about pay and benefit issues. Pretty much. Now we're on our own. The bank did let workers in the building to collect their tools and personal items. At least when I start over, I got some work clothes to go with. So, Near 136th and Industrial Road, Mike McKnight, WWT6 News. Our call to the owner of the company has not been returned. The Nebraska Department of Labor will be watching for the final payroll and will make sure employees are compensated for unused vacation.